What is going on YouTube? This is Simon T. Simon here. Coming to you guys with a Evil Storm deck profile for July 16, 2015 format. So hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. And guys, as I progress through the deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys some of the card choices I decided to play in the deck and the reasons why I play them. So guys, so without further ado, let's get started with this amazing and absolutely amazing Evil Storm deck profile. And guys, I actually main deck some of the anti-matter cards to uh, adjust us today's format, like cards like Mistake and uh, stuff like that. Really helps this deck out uh, compete against uh, deck like Necros. So I just hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile and I'll be explaining to you guys every card choices that I've decided to play in the deck and the reason why I play them. Uh, so without further ado, let's get let's go with this deck profile. Start off, of course, you play the one self explanatory, one rescue rabbit. This card is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you draw him first turn, you basically just win the duel. I'm just kidding. Uh, what I mean by that is that when you first draw him and you actually uh, get him off, you, he's able to help you uh, get into your first turn Ophion and it helps you set up your plays. Uh, and it's, it, of course, it's a one card XYZ monster. So uh, rescue rabbit is really, really good. But since now the Lavabo Chain is banned, you have no quick, quicker access to get into your rescue rabbit. So that's the sucky part about. Um, uh, the rescue rabbit is that you're unable to get access into him as fast as possible. Unlike when Lavawa Chain wasn't banned, you're able to put top deck uh, the rescue rabbit, which is absolutely amazing. But you know what? Unfortunately, Lavawa Chain is banned, but you still gotta play the one lone rescue rabbit, the one lone rescue rabbit because he is super cute and he is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I said that. That's weird. All right, uh, one rescue rabbit. Next, of course, you play a soft spanner Troy triple caster, uh, very standard. Triple Mana Gora, this card is a free Cyber Dragon in the deck, absolutely amazing. Uh, triple uh, Heliotrope, your 1950 of the deck, beats on Thunder King Ryo. And of course, he's your Rescue, uh, rescue Rabbit target, so that's what's really, really good about uh, Heliotrope. Next, you play, of course, uh, the Evil Storm Kirkion. And last but not least, the new new addition to the deck is, of course, Triple Heroic Challenger uh, Assault Halberd. This card is absolutely amazing. You guys don't understand how good this card is. I actually tested out this card uh um, on what's it called Death Pro and this card is absolutely amazing in this deck first of all this card is a free summon especially when uh, if you have him and Kirkion in hand you're able to set up so many common plays with uh, uh, him and Kirkion and especially even Caster as well if you have uh, him Kirkion you bring out Caster from the grave summon and Caster you're able to make two XYZs within that turn he's your free summon and what his effect is that once he destroys the monster of a battle he's able to search all itself and uh, the thing about really like about him is that he's searchable with reinforcement of the army and he also gives the deck an extra search target with of course the Caster so that's why I really, really like about the heroic uh, challenger assault hybrid. And I actually got this idea from the top 16 um, uh, German nationals uh, from like two months ago where I saw this video where uh, the player actually played this card. I was like, you know what? I actually want to test out this card. And this card worked really, really well in the deck. Uh, it's just so good. It gives the deck more speed. And it also helps you go into your uh, more rank 4 plays, which is very, very good. And he's also like a, ba a basic uh, a small a small engine in the deck. You know, you would destroy his monster by battle, inflict piercing damage. Then you actually get to search himself out from the deck to your hand so he's very very good um yeah there's there's lots of combo plays that you can do with him you can normal special summon him uh normal caster if you have a kirky on the hand you can go into your kirky on and then uh you can just do your crazy other shenanigan plays with these cards already so it's pretty pretty good i saw hybrid is it's just like a, another you're playing a three more better version of Mandagoros in the deck. So that's why I like about uh, Assault Hybrid. And that's pretty much it for our monsters, and I believe you play 16 monsters. I felt like, uh, what's it called? Evil Storm Thunderbird is too slow in the deck. This card is so slow. I felt so, I just had to cut it out. I tried it out, uh, try, I tried, tried playing one, but I felt like, you know what, There's the, 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 the space in this deck is just so tight that uh, Evil Storm Thunderbird isn't really needed in the deck anyways. Uh, so yeah. Now off to our other cards, spell cards. You play, of course, triple reinforcement of the army. You want to see your casters as much as possible. Uh, so reinforce. Uh Rota is very important in this deck. Next, you play, of course, Triple Forbidden Chalice. This card is absolutely amazing. He helps you uh, get rid of the uh, the face of windows, you know, activate Forbidden, Lat uh, Forbidden Chalice, I mean, and neg neg negate the monster's effect. So this card is very, very good. And he also makes your Evil Storm Ophion uh, 2950. So that's why I like about Chalice. It also bumps up your own uh, monster uh, monster's attack. So uh, Forbidden Chalice is absolutely amazing for that. So he's really, really good. Uh, she's able to be used as the same purpose as Forbidden Lands, where it's able to use as a uh, monster negation, such as Breakthrough Skill. Like, he works the exact same as Breakthrough Skill, and he can also be uh, served as a trap card when your opponent tries to attack. You can uh, make your monster drain damage to gain extra 400 attack, so he's absolutely amazing. I love playing Triple Lance. Uh, no, I mean Triple Chalice uh, in the deck. I, al I always keep mixing up the Chalice and Lance. Um, they look, they look pretty much look the same. Look, they're the same though. Boom. 
Just kidding. She's drinking out of a cup. So if Triple Chalice is absolutely amazing uh, in the deck. Uh, helps negate a lot of monster effects. So triple uh, chalice. I know I played double uh, infestation. I felt like uh, two is enough, and I felt like uh, three can sometimes clog. Um, so yeah, so I, I put infestation to two. Pretty good. Now off to our other spell cards. I, I, I and I felt like evil storms. You actually need a lot of monster removals. So I played double dark hole and the regreki. I like this lineup very very much. Is because sometimes uh, evil storms they're able to put a, a lot of damage on board. And sometimes uh, having your while your opponent has big monsters on board, this uh, that can be really problematic for evil storms. So I like to have a lot of um, like a, a lot of board uh, board clearance cards such as dark hole and regeki to clear out your opponent's boards and just able to just go off and push for a lot of damage um in evil swarms and especially like uh in with anti -meta, with anti meta decks like evil swarms i felt like monster clearance is very important uh, it, it 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 goes uh same goes for your Senjus, uh, they play these cards because they're able just to uh, get rid of your opponent's tire board. Summon monsters, attack, and set their back rows. So it's pretty, pretty good. So you don't have to waste your uh, XYZ summons to just get rid of your opponent's monsters while you can have Dark Hole. Uh, Dark Hole with them first, then go off into your uh, crazy, crazy shenanigan plays that Evil Storms can do. So that's pretty much it for our uh, spells. And oh, wait, I play one more spell. And then uh, last but not least, I'll play the one Book of Moon. Book of Moon is really good against the Burning Abyss matchup. Uh, absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for our spells. And I believe we played 12 spells. Spells. Now off to our traps, I play of course double Phoenix Shane. Phoenix Shane is absolutely amazing. It's able to help uh, stop monsters attack and also uh, slows down uh, your opponent. Uh, and it helps you go into, um, helps, it basically stalls until you draw into your combo pieces. That's why I like about Phoenix Shane. It's a basically an effect dealer on crack, being able to negate the, uh, your opponent's monster effect. And also your opponent monster can attack, helping you stall until you draw into your combo, combo pieces is absolutely amazing. So Phoenix Shane is really, really great. Next I play double Mistake. Mistake is so great in this deck. Uh, this deck does not do a lot, a lot of searching uh, outside from of course the infestation infection and of course the reinforcement of the army but you want you really want to be wise when activating a uh, mistake you all you always want to search out all your cards first before mistake resolves and even before even you you're thinking about activating mistake you always want to add the cards that you need to your hand first then activate mistake and um it will hurt the Necros matchup uh, more than it hurt yourself. So Mistake is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's it's be basically a blowout against the Necros matchup. This card basically says that Necros can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so Mistake in the main deck is absolutely amazing. Next, of course, you play the Triple Mind Crush. Mind Crush in this deck is very important as well. Same purpose as Mistake. Necros is a very strong matchup. So uh, you always you always want to hit the cards that they search. Especially uh, for Cleese as well, you want to Mind Crush uh, all their cards that they search as well. Uh, against the Blackwing matchup, against, of course, the, the Selenites matchup. This card is absolutely amazing. So, uh Mind Crush is good, and it's also really great against the Burning Best matchup where uh, they have to reveal first, then you Mind Crush them, and then uh, they'll go to Grave without getting their second effect where uh, either it will get the special special from the Grave or the deck, they won't get that effect because they're already using its effect to reveal themselves uh, to special summon um, to the field. So Mind Crush is very good against the Burning Abyss matchup. Uh, very, very good. Next you play, of course, for our 1-ups, you play 1 Emptiness, 1 Solemn Warning, 1 Compulse, 1 Mirror Force, and last but not least, 1 Infestation Infection for the, uh, our Evil Storm Church. For our evil storm searches, and uh, also uh, it's able to help you add Kirky onto your hand as fast as possible. So I love playing the triple infection, uh, the the one in, uh, infestation infection, and this card is uh, accessible as long as you have uh, Ophion on board. So he's very very good. You can basically get him in, in, into your hand anytime uh, when you want, when, as long as you have uh, evil storm Ophion on board, and it has materials of course. Now off to our side deck. You play, of course, the one deck, doc, uh, deck lockdown. I, I would actually play double if I had, but uh, I only have one, so deck lockdown is amazing. Uh, I played double breakthrough skill, uh, double flying C for the Burning Abyss matchup. Burning Abyss is very annoying. Uh, so uh, it's probably one, uh, this deck's uh, weakest matchup. So you want flying C, just helps that. Next you play triple max C. Same, same goes for the Burning Abyss matchup. Very important. A double fairy win for the Cleese, the second Mirror Force, Macrocosmos. And of course, last but not least, triple mystical space typhoon to round off our side deck. And guys, as I, as I said before, side deck is always uh, personal preference, but I just like to show you guys an overview on the different cards that you can play in the side deck of this card, uh, in the side deck of this deck. Now we play, of course, triple evil swarm Ophion's uh, very solid explanatory, very standard. Ophion is amazing. Your uh, your main go to guy of the deck. Uh, one steel swarm Roach. One Evil Storm Bahamut. I am missing a card. I am missing uh, Evil Storm Nightmare. But if you guys have Nightmare, you guys can definitely play Nightmare. Nightmare is absolutely amazing. Especially against the Burning Miss, uh, the Burning Miss matchup. Uh, one Master Key Beetle. One Emerald. One Teller Knight. Uh, Patal Mayas. And of course, one uh, Consular Diamond. Uh, if, you, if you're able to go into these two and have these two cards on board, you basically just win the duel, against, especially against the Shadow matchup. You have, a, you have a Diamond on board and an Ophion on board. That's GG. Uh, so good. So one uh, Batamanias and one Diamond, uh, one Abyss Dweller, 
one Gaga Cowboy, one uh, 101, one Castell, one Excite on Night, and last but not least, one Heroic Champion Excalibur. Because Tower, Tober, uh, Tower to uh, Turbo is actually a deck, so uh, Exc Excalibur just gets rid of that uh, Tower on board. So it's very, very good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comment section below. Uh, this is what I have so far for Evil Storms. I hope you guys like it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all your support, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this deck, leave it in the comment section below. And if you guys have any suggestions for me to change uh, in, in into the main deck, please let me know uh, down in, in the comment section below. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, watching this entire video. And yeah, this is Sam T. Sam 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 signing out. Peace. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And this is Sam T. Sam 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 signing out. Peace. And don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, guys. Peace out, guys.